Hey guys, what's happening? Benji here with another saber to show off. This one is a personal. So this is a personal build that I have spent probably over a year. <laughs> this thing, I built this thing almost two years ago. Yeah, I built this a long time ago. So I take scratch and dent parts and I build tilts. And um, at one point I was able to build a few and then I just called it a day. Most of the time they're parts and sometimes those parts don't really seem like they can work with anything until you get new batches. But I had this guy built and then I missed a scratch and dent run. And then Brian in mid Ohio sent me one and I got more parts and built some, uh, a couple from there. But this guy, he was built like, this was built like two scratch and dent batches ago. <laughs> so I never installed it. Uh, I have a lot of speeder bike style hilts, Coran horn style hilts. I have a group for it. This is one of my favorite builds to do because you can get crazy with it. I've, I've talked about this a lot in lots of videos. I've always really enjoyed this one for the size of it. It's very comfortable. And I just wasn't sure on how I was going to do it for the longest time. So I ended up doing small bits on like the weekends for like a year maybe not a year but it was a long time like i went through a couple different changes on how i was going to do the chassis I went a couple different changes on some bits and bobs eventually a couple months ago i was like okay every now and then i'm going to try to do something so i designed the chassis and then that sat for months because i have other people's stuff to do and whatnot and sometimes you know i feel really guilty even if i'm doing stuff on my own like free time uh like on weekends i mean you know you gotta have your own free time you know i don't have a clock like 24 7 but I still felt guilty because there's other things i gotta do so i was just kind of like all right i'm gonna wire up a recharge port <laughs> and like wait a couple weeks or whatever and then i was like all right let's look up the speaker and the battery terminal. like i literally took just amount of time in separate small like like I stretched out the install for months upon months upon months just doing like well since i'm wiring up this i might as well just do that too so um good things come to those who wait i guess so shortening this up because uh, i'm gonna try to make this quick board is a cfx that i had i have two accent leds right here i designed two uh a holder for two micro switches it's got a 7 8 inch blade socket which i modified and made one of the reasons why i went back and forth too is because i have done speeder hilts like this before with scratch and dent parts that are the same size and what i tend to do is i put a uh a speaker pod in here and um it gives me a good sound and a good a good bit but um i would do a removable battery here and then stack the board so what i wanted to do because this has a lot of length up top was I put a in-hilt battery and a recharge port and the speaker, it's all in one chassis. So the reason I did that was because I was like, once this thing is on, and because there's a uh, diameter change right here that cups the speaker perfectly. So this entire speaker is shotgunning amazing sound. This thing sounds phenomenal. And it's actually probably on a low charge. I probably should have charged this. So that guy comes off and I got my chassis see nothing in there just a body my chassis i had a lot of fun because i tried to do different little things i kind of always try to follow the same motif that i have um I, I hope that people see my chassis and they know exactly oh that's benji's chassis that's a nerf herder chassis still doing the soundboard the cfx soundboard upside down <laughs> cry about it um so i did that because i like uh, just sd card access now going back to the whole ordeal with CFX uh, installations the correct way, upside down, right side up, USB port, whatever. To me, it doesn't matter because I don't have to use glue to keep my boards down. Their pressure fit in there. If I really absolutely, absolutely wanted to use USB access, I would just pop the board up. That simple, man. Don't gotta cry about it and attack me for a year for it. Anyway, so you got a uh, recharge port right there and I wanted to do something really cool uh, or really cool, something different, and make it to where the recharge port actually looks like it's a part of something. It's not just in there. There's a design to the recharge port holder. I don't know how you can tell. It's kind of small designs, you know, little vents, little grates, and all that. It's got the uh, 2.1 millimeter recharge port, Smoker's Outpost uh, full range speaker, and then uh, it's got a, um, I think just a custom saber shop. Yeah. Custom Saber Shop uh, pin connector system. So there we go. <laughs> Upside down. He's still probably crying about that. Like bashing me on his uh, pages. Oh. 
Crazy hoop, man. All right, so top is uh, activation. And I have this uh, quick ignite set, so it just wakes up out of deep sleep. But, ah. Uh, cuts into the air, dude. This is Durn Fire. This is Durn Fire by Lord Blocko. And I got a silver blade set. Dancing. Accent lights. When you're holding it, you can really feel the resonance. A little air uh, travels out through here um, and here, and it just cuts. It cuts, chops that wind in half. So I, of course, have a bunch of, uh, yeah, see, just made a little light plug, because why not? Didn't uh, I use spare parts and wanted to do this on the cheap, you know? Actually, ended up with a, a good amount of blade depth, which is cool. Very comfortable. And you can even comfortably hold it hand and a half, you know? I mean, it's, it's right there. Usually with speeders, um, with Coran horn, with a uh, Coran horn style speeder bike hilts, sometimes you get kind of crazy with them and they can end up pretty gnarly, you know, you can get a lot of different things going on. I wanted one that was somewhat um, simplistic and kind of clean, so this guy has weathering and it is dirty and grimy in all the right places, but it's also kind of clean. Looks a little industrial, you know. Oh, she died. Oh, battery's low. Let's go ahead and play with the Faunter too. You're in fire. This is uh, Corrin Horn by Sabres Forever. My silver blade looks a little washed out right now. Okay, charged it up a little bit. Uh, it was very low. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. So, got a silver blade going. This is uh, Sun Acrelia. This is the font that I had um, collaborated with Jesse at Cyberphonic Fonts. Um, we made a uh, Koran inspired sound font. That's where Blinky's going. Got a nice silver blade. Silver's what his uh, main blade looks like. Oh, it just sounds so good. Much louder too on a full charge.
way louder. I, I had it. It was next to bed at <laughs> the beginning of this video. Not only is it loud, it's really full. So let's go ahead and see what else we got. Sabres Forever font, and I modified some of the sounds on it, I think. Maybe the smooth swing pairs. And that power down is also from, I think, Zoomer Bike. And this is Toby. <laughs> it's not a speeder font, but I love Toby. From Visions. I just, I love, I love the way it sounds. <laughs> I love it. You're in fire. It's Durin Fire. Durin Fire by Lord Blocko. This font is amazing. Love when it's on a good sounding resonance uh, and speaker. This is a very, very comfortable hill to swing around. Seven eighth inch blades, my favorite. by Sabres Forever. This is the... Yeah, this one is exactly how you'd get it. sounding sabers I have. Oh, I added that. Very, very comfortable. Feels really good to swing. This is another, yeah, this is another version of his, where I think the accent swings are bikes. Yeah. Super loud. Corellian. That's whenever I knew it. Whenever I saw that I could get that speaker completely trapped in that diameter change and then this just be a full shotgun of sound, I mean, I knew it was going to be tasty. Kind of ideal. Got a blue on this one just because mixing it up, I guess. Accent 
course by me. <laughs> this is uh, K Sith Light. Just wanted to have some normal ones. Probably my favorite, one of my favorite colors. Yeah, I um, <laughs> this thing's ridiculously good in sound. <laughs> Pretty wild on a full charge. feel the sound muffling through when you hold it. it. Feels like there's a rumble motor in that thing. So there we go. Um, like I said, uh, Love the simplicity of it, um, but still a very comfortable, really fun hill. It's like number, uh, I don't know, 16 in the collection? <laughs> Lord only knows. Thanks guys for uh, indulging me there. And um, yeah, um, hope to build more. I mean, I always, I'm always gonna build a scrap flex and I'm always gonna build a core and horn. Those are just things that I cannot stop myself from doing. But thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you. Scruffy looking.